Welcome, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Move Lab, and I'm your host, James. And we're going to continue along with our theme of the week, which is play. So today, what I am inviting you to consider is to get lost in the experience, to laugh at yourself when you can't figure something out that happens. Um, if you run into a block and you're like, oh, I can't do that, to kind of go, huh, what of the skill sets that we've been covering the last few weeks would help me be able to better figure out that thing that maybe I can't figure out? And then mostly just allowing yourself to get lost in the fun of it all. So we're going to continue along with the normal routine of doing some breath work, some nervous system warm ups, and get right into play. So let's get started. So for our breath work today, we're going to do a four, seven, eight breath. Um, if you have another one you like, feel free to do that one. Four, seven, eight is an inhale for a count of four, holding our breath for a count of seven, exhaling for a count of eight. Four, in, hold for seven, exhale for eight. I'll do the counting, you do the breathing, and as we explore and play, I'm going to speed things up, I'm going to slow things down, so your job is to try your best not to anticipate where we're headed with this, but instead to just kind of um, let yourself be a participant. So everyone together, inhale to cleanse, exhale to prepare, and inhaling for a count of four, three, two, hold your breath, seven, six, five, four, three, two, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, just breathe, inhale, hold your breath for as long as you'd like, exhale, one more round, and exhaling, from there, bring your hands together, get them warm up. Ah, take your nice warm hands, put them on your shoulders and just kind of be there for a moment. Maybe even one hand can kind of stroke the other arm like you're painting your full arm, whatever color you want to paint it today, all the way from the armpits to the fingertips, other side. And as always, remember the only rule we have for Move Lab all over your chest. The only rule, a rule we have for Move Lab is whatever you're doing, you're doing it perfectly correctly because there's absolutely no right or wrong way to move all over your belly. Maybe even your back. Ah, 
through the legs. And remember, you don't have to sit like me. This is how I have chosen to sit for today. Up through the neck and face. Tapping on the head. Shaking it all out. <sighs> then sitting to the best of your ability today with the soles of your feet together, knees open, little butterfly stretch here. From this butterfly movement, maybe we add in some seaweed spine or rocking side to side. Legs can move, spine can move. <sighs> right into some falling practice, we're going right and left, right and left. Remember, you can use both hands for your falling practice. Just using the falling practice, not only as a physical warm up today, but a nervous system warm up. Uh, am I okay taking risks? Am I okay taking risks to the right? Am I okay taking risks to the left? So that as we get into more playful movement, you're not shocked when your body goes, well, that's not playful, I just don't like that. You can begin to listen and go, well, maybe I can go back to this thing of just testing the water. Like for me today, going left is bringing up a little bit of resistance. Going right is fine. So I'm going to do this all day. Going here is like that mild stress fever of going, mm, maybe you don't want to do that today. Are we sure? Are we sure we want to do that today? It's not enough for me to stop. It's not an uh-uh, but yours might be a uh-uh. Listen to that. Last one. Good. From there, let's take and sit proper on the mat, feet down on the mat, arms go behind you. Now make a choice. Do you want your fingertips faced away from you, face out to the side, or face forward? Your choice. Holding there. We're going to let it slump or soften through the shoulders, push down. We're just getting some body parts warmed up. Now you can continue here or you can push, push, down, down, arms, legs, legs, arms, and down, two, and one. Knees get to drop to one side and drop to the other over and over 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 one more over and over now bring the soles of your feet together from there arms do the push legs do the push down down push push legs arms arms Legs, hold, right knee down, left knee down, right, left, right, left, two, one, center, down, down, shake it out. So one of those series was difficult. Stay there, spend some time figuring that out, investing in that, or follow me, arms, Legs, hold, right leg threads underneath left, and then comes back. Left underneath right. Center, down, down. You can continue that, or you can make a task out of it. You can add another element. The element I'm going to add is opposite hand is going to touch opposite foot once we've completed that little puzzle there. So this is what it's going to look like. Hold, arms, legs, left leg, right hand. 
down, down, up, leg, hand. One more each side. Down, down, rest. Just a little rock. And then go to the right, and then go to the left. <sighs> go back into my four, seven, eight breathing if that feels good. And maybe this time I go a little more. And a little more. A little more. Kind of turn to the side here. A little more. I could go so much that I kind of go to the side, roll over, and come up the other side. Going, rolling, up. And then reverse. Just a little rolling around on the floor. Why? Because that's what we're asking the body to do right now. Center yourself on your mat. Lie all the way down. Right hand touches left foot somewhere out in front of you and releases. Left to right, right to left. Left to right, right to left. Now, you can make it like this, if that works better for you. Out to the sides, if that's where you want to go with it. Or we can turn the volume up a little bit and make it into a movement puzzle. So, Right hand holds on to left foot. From there, how are you going to thread through left foot, right hand, or left, right foot, left hand, release. Thread through, thread through, thread. And then reverse. Kind of a brain puzzle. Release. <sighs> and some ad work. Right, left. Right, left. Find your center. Take your hands in front of you. Interlace them. Make a wheel with your hands. Wheel goes right and left. It can go to the right over your head to the left. And reverse. <sighs> From there, make a little shape. Make a big shape. Little shape. Big shape. Different little shape. How do you do that? You just choose somewhere else to hold. Different big shape. Maybe you just look in a different direction. Little. Big. Little. Big. Little. Big. Little. Roll to the right. Go big. Hold. How much more of you can you get off the floor and stay big? Go little, roll to the other side. Go big. How much of you can you get off the floor and stay big? Go little, big. Go little, go big. Go 
So little, roll, big. 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 Hands and knees. Rocking back and forth. Maybe the image here is sort of like um, a rocking horse or a cat getting ready to bounce or a baby getting ready to crawl. Whatever it is, there's some buoyancy to it. I'm choosing to have my feet together and my knees open today. You make your choice. Now, choose which side to go to, right or left. How do you choose? You look. Looking where you want to go. Make a circle with it. Reverse. One more. Ah, sit back. Just rock. Right butt cheek, left butt cheek, seaweed spine. Ah, just kind of moving. Give this some shoulder action. This just feels like an intuitive movement. If you were in stress reset yesterday, this is just how my body is asking to move right now. So, how is your body asking? to move right now. <sighs> Good. From there, head stacked on ribs, stacked on pelvis. We go up, we come down. We go up, we come down. Up and down. Now, that's work. Keep doing that. If not, right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. Other side. Now, rather than paying attention to the front arm, think about how far you can get that back arm behind you. Maybe reach for that back wall, turn to look for it, and really reach and come back. Really reach and come back. Or you can continue that circle. Follow the other arm. One more. Rest. Right, left. Right, left. Right, and left. Get yourself settled a bit. Inhale to a count of four, three, two, hold your breath. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, hold your breath. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Falling forward, rebounding back. It's like a falling practice. Forward and back. Forward and back. You can come up and do your falling practice. You could come way up, almost suspend, suspend, suspend. You could fall to the right or to the left. Remember to liberate that leg behind you. 
One more. Then just sit. Sit however you'd like. Really feel the floor beneath you. And then here's a question. How tall are you? Think about how tall you are. Then go ahead and stand up. And when you get to your standing position, from the back of your neck, stand as if you're that tall. I'm 6'1". I don't want to be 5'10". I want to be 6'1". I don't want to be 6'1 from my chin. I want it from the back of my neck. Then sit back down and let the ground support you. Relax into it. Change your mind. Stand back up. Be that tall. Sit back down. I'm going to get a drink of water. Sit back down. Stand back up. Sit back down. Take your dominant hand. Place your dominant hand behind your back and tell yourself, I can't use that arm. Stand back up without using that arm. Sit back down without using that arm. Change your mind. Put your other arm behind your back. Stand back up. Be that tall. Sit down. Both arms, if you can, remember you can always choose here, both arms behind your back. Standing up, sitting back down, standing back up. Tall, sit back down. Now, you have all access to your hands. You can use your hands however you'd like. What cannot happen is your favorite foot. That leg can never touch the floor. Stand up. Be that tall. Go back down without that leg ever touching the floor. Do that same side again, going up and sitting back down. Change your mind. That leg can go down, the other leg has to come up. Stand up. Sit back down. Stand up. Sit back down. Now, you have several different versions. If just standing and sitting works for you. It's a lot of cardio work. That's why I don't do it and teach all the time because I run out of air. So you can do that. The goal is how many different ways? We got into a conversation on Tuesday about the distinction between something like Move Lab and something like going to the gym. Something like going to the gym where it says, this is the right way to do this thing. Here are the rules and the protocols over here. I am more interested in you exploring and cultivating options. So you can continue to not use arms. You can continue to not use a leg. You could choose one arm, one leg, I don't get to use. Or this arm, this leg have to touch each other. Or both hands over my head. Or big and little shapes. How many different ways can you sit down and stand back up? Can you add a spin? Can you close your eyes? Can you tilt your head? Can one or both hands stay over you or behind you? Like, what are all of the different options as you sit down? and stand back up. Sit down, stand back up. Five more. Sitting down, find a whole new way to stand up. If you were five, you would have infinite <laughs> options. But because most of us are a little older than five, you've probably done three options and your head is like, well, I've done all the different ways. You have not. You have not. So choose a different way. And a different way, and end in standing. Once you're standing, just walk around the room. Walk around the room. 
Maybe you can even orient and kind of take in the space. Maybe you just want to feel your feet hit the floor. Maybe your arms want to swing. We ended Tuesday's class with several different versions of gait. Crawling, crawling like animals, walking like people, skipping, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to end taking that practice and making it mean something playfully. So find your way back onto your mat. I'm going to scooch mine back just a bit. And we're going to lift all of your toes off the mat, spread your toes, set your toes down. Lift them, spread them, set them down. Lift, spread, set them down. Lift, spread, set just your big toes down, pick them up. Set the other toes down, pick them up. Just your big toes, up. The four or however many toes you got on each side, down and up. Big, four, big, four, big, four, big, four, all toes down. Only big comes up and it goes down. Four toes go up, set them down. Big toes, four toes. Big toes, four toes. Big toe on the right, four toes on the left. Switch, 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 relax. Yaw to the right side of your feet, left side of your feet, right side of your feet, left side of your feet, right and left. As you go to the right, let your arms swing. Left, swing, right, swing, left, swing, 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 center. Weight shift into your toes and into your heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Go down into your squat. Now, your squat right now might be sort of gym squat, right? Like I go down here and I come up. Your squat might be a human being squat right now. Choose which one feels the best for you. How far down is your body ready to go? Then make a different choice. Right foot maybe comes forward and back. Left, right. Maybe you just want to be on tiptoes and do that thing. Maybe you want no toes. Ah, take a walk. Take a walk around your mat. And just trace your mat with your feet like you're tightrope walking. When you reach the long side, walk laterally. Reach the edge, walk backwards, tightrope. Turn around, walk lateral. Reverse, other way. Walk backwards. And go. Now you can continue to do that or come up on your tiptoes and try that. Backwards, spin, and the other way. Ah, what is, I can't remember my own exercises. Then just take a walk and notice if anything feels different now that you've woken up the feet. Continue to walk around your space. And notice something beautiful. Go and touch it with your right hand. Then look for something dark. Run to it and touch it with your left hand. Run, touch the door with your right knee. Touch a window or glass with your left hand instead. Walk backwards to something alive, a plant, an animal, a person. 
Run and touch something hard. Touch something wood. Run back to the door, to the window. Go to the right wall in the room, touch it with your forehead. Can you keep your forehead on that and make your left foot touch something else? Run to the door. Then walk backwards to your mat. Once you're on your mat, place your hands on your heart. <sighs> Take a nice deep inhale into your own hands. Tell yourself thank you for paying attention to what your body wanted to do today, for exploring how it can move, how it can play, how it can shape shift and solve puzzles, how your heart rate goes up and goes down. Then take a look at your space. So much of today's practice was about being in relationship with the space you're in. Where are you touching? What are you pushing away from? What are you running to? Just acknowledging that your workout experience today would have been so different had you been in a different space. So tell your space thank you. And then most importantly, we are in this together. We are interconnected with one another. And what Move Lab and my teaching is about is being able to be aware of, listen for, decipher and decode your interpersonal communication. What is going on inside of me so that we get better at interpersonal communication, better able to express ourselves, understand other people. And it starts with just being aware and listening for. So tell your community, thank you, even if that community lives inside of you. Thank you for joining us today at Move Lab. I'm James, and I'll be here tomorrow for another Stress Reset. Bye, everybody. Thank you, James. Thank you so much. Just want to let you guys know, I, oh, you can see my pillows in the background. That's weird. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to let everyone know that I um, posted the YouTube link. Um, Martha had asked for it, so I posted it for everybody uh, to the recorded classes um, that we have from last summer. And like I said, I hope we have this block up um, by the end of this month, uh, beginning of next month. And uh, we still have, of course, this week and next week left in this block. Yep. And then I believe we're going to be starting back up again um, mid-January, January, yeah. the week of January 18th, I believe. So, um, so anyway, we still have a week and a half left. So excited for that. Um, any questions? Oh, somebody said that they were having some hip pain and when class started and now they're having no pain. So yay. <laughs> good, good. I liked walking on my toes. That felt good. Yeah, it's a fun one. It's just about exploring and thinking, huh, how can I use this thing today? Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, well, it doesn't look like there's any questions. So we will see you all tomorrow for Stress Reset. Thank you, James. Thank, Thank you, you everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everybody. We'll see you soon.